Hey, how is everybody? Lou from RV Habit. Today we're going to do a real easy project and that's change out this LPG CO detector. And this is a super important device. Mine's five years old. It actually did start beeping to warn me that it needed to be changed right before winter storage. So I removed the fuse so it would stop beeping. Uh, but they're generally wired directly to the battery or to a constant power in the fuse box. So even when you disconnect the batteries, this generally will stay on. And the easiest thing to do is get the exact model that's here. And this one I got on Amazon. I paid, I, I think, $30 to $35. I don't exactly remember. Uh, I bought it a little while ago. And uh, we're going to install it today. So the first thing to do is to remove the two screws holding it into the RV. And it slides right out. Now, these are hardwired. Most of them will have a fuse in line, which makes this real easy to change. Uh, but if not, you can trace this back to the fuse in the fuse box. But mine is real easy. Just remove this fuse and then I'm going to just remove these crimp or crush nuts and wire in a new one. So here's the new one. It's exactly the same as the one I'm removing. It's an LPG and a carbon monoxide detector. This one was manufactured in August of 2020 and I probably bought it uh, in October of 2020. So I've had it laying around the house for a while, but they're supposed to be good for five years from the date of install, not from the date of manufacture. So first thing we're gonna do is peel back some of these wires because they're really not long enough twist your wires together real good put your nut back on recrimp it and these could be simple wire nuts too. Uh, it depends on the RV manufacturer. Give it a tug to make sure it works. And now I'm gonna reinstall the fuse, which is a three amp fuse on this particular one. Uh, and we should get some power. And before I even install it, the green light is blinking, which means it's setting itself. So we can reinstall this. And all you do is push your wires back in. Get them down there so it doesn't interfere. And we're going to install that back in. And we'll give it a test. Both red lights come on. Perfect. And that's it. It really is as simple as that. It was real time. It's under five minutes. I mean, just remove the two screws and connect two hard wires. Uh, some will have those crimp nuts that you saw in mine. Some will have just screw nuts. Some will actually be uh, wired with a, a butt connector on each end. But Either way, it's very, very simple to do. I'm gonna leave links below in the description for uh, a couple different models of these on Amazon if you're interested uh, in getting one. And I'll also do an article on my blog, but as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope to see you out there and uh, have a great day.